What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Blake with the Linux Fraud and today I wanted to show you how I set up virtual machines with QEMU. I think QEMU is a amazing I think QEMU is an amazing hypervisor, way better than VirtualBox and uh, VMware and whatnot. So I just wanted to make a quick video on how I set it up and so I just wanted to make a quick video on how I set it up and how I use it. So let's just jump right into it. Of course, here we're using Fedora KDE. The first thing that you want to, the first thing that you're going to want to do is obviously download an ISO of whatever distribution that you want to install. So what we're going to do is jump to DistroWatch and randomly pick a distribution from there. Get that installed. So let's do that. Let's open up Firefox here. So we're going to get Firefox opened, and wow, this light theme is insane. I never use a light theme. Just because I'm that kind of guy, we're going to jump into settings real quick and change it. All right, so let's open up Firefox, get DistroWatch there. Let's open up Firefox, go on to DistroWatch, and pick a... All right, so we got DistroWatch. I'm gonna close my eyes, just run the mouse up and down on this like top 40, and then whatever uh, whatever one the cursor lands on, we're gonna install it. Manjaro, Jesus Christ. So while that's installing, we're going to jump over to a different workspace. And this is running so slow. Now we'll open up console. What you're going to want to do is install QEMU Desktop, and I think on Fedora it's just QEMU, and then also Vert Manager. You'll also want to make sure that DNS Mask and IP Tables-NFT is installed. 
but I would assume that your distribution al already has those last two installed, but just make sure that they are. So we'll run sudo dnf. Let's make this a little bigger. Sudo, sudo dnf install qemu vert manager dns mask and ip tables dash nft. All right, so QEMU is installed, Vert Manager. Vert Manager is just a front end for QEMU because you can create VMs within the terminal. I'm not doing that right now, but I'm just gonna do the GUI front end Vert Manager. But Manjaro is still fucking downloading because the internet here is horrible. But we do have to do something before that anyway, so we have to, um, we do have to edit a couple of configs anyway we do have to edit a couple config files anyway so while that's still downloading like taking forever like slow as molasses so while that's still downloading let's jump into these config files and make a few edits what you want to do is sudo and vim oh crap i don't have neovim installed so we'll just use nano sudo nano etsy libvert libvertd.conf now scroll all the way down until now you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you see this section right here unix socket access controls now this one right here unix sock ro now this line right here you're just going to want to uncomment that So I'll uncomment that one, go down, actually my bad, I fucked up on that, comment that one back, you want to go up here, Unix sock group, uncomment that for libvert and then go down to this line right here and uncomment that. Now just write and quit. Now you can push uh, you can push up on your up arrows. If you push up on your up arrow, 
you're just going to delete the last one, the libvertd.conf, and then qmu.conf. Now you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you see All right, you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you see this right here, where it says user and group, user QEMU, group QEMU. Uncomment both of those. But then you're also going to want to delete QEMU and put in your username. So what was my username for here? Oh yeah, Linus, because this was a VM I was using to you know, show you guys um, the Linus tool. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. And then also group Linus. Usually that would, that's just gonna be your username, right? Um, that's gonna give you permission to create the virtual machines. Write that, quit, and then you can exit out of the terminal. Let's go see if fucking Manjaro has downloaded yet. No, there was an error. Why? Why? All right, Manjaro is finally downloaded. Let's jump over here. We can exit. We can exit out of Firefox. We're going to open up Vert Manager. You're going to get that error, but that's okay. So what you're going to want to do is go up here to File, Add Connection, in this drop-down menu, go down to QEMU KVM User Session. Hit Connect. Now this does say that a lot of like networking options and whatnot are not configurable through the user session. The other session, just the regular QEMU slash KVM, I believe is they get created under root. I haven't really messed with that all personally, but yeah, the networking options aren't, um, yeah, there's not a plethora of networking options and whatnot through this, but this is just a great way to just whip up VMs really quickly if you want to test out a new distribution or if you're getting that distro hopping itch. This is a great way to um, this is a great way to do that. So just go ahead, click on this icon up here. You're gonna hit local install, hit forward. You're gonna browse. That's gonna bring up a little menu. Browse local. You can bring in that ISO. Usually it automatically detects the operating system. If not, you can uncheck this and just start typing in the distribution and it'll pop up. But you will want to make sure that that is filled out with the correct distribution. We'll just, uh, yeah. Let's say the default settings there for the memory and CPU is fine. We'll bump this up a little. Uh, actually, I take that back, because how much do I have on this VM? Got 20 gigs free. Ooh, this, this might just... You can name it whatever you want. Hit finish. And right there, we've got the Manjaro boot screen.
we can boot with open source drivers. Now this is obviously going to be a little laggy for me. The, the VM, I'm, so I'm installing a VM within a VM. So it's going to be kind of slow and whatnot, but that's fine. It doesn't matter for you guys because it's just going to automatically cut. Because it's just, and that's fine because it doesn't matter for you. Which that doesn't really matter because, now yeah, it's really slow since it's a VM within a VM, but that's fine because for you guys it's just going to cut right to it. Alright, and there you have it. You got Manjaro all whipped up as a VM. I'm not going to go through the installation of this because I'm never going to use it, but I just wanted to show you guys step from st but I just wanted to show you step by step how I set up QEMU and how I set up my VMs. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider hitting that like button, and if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing because we have a bunch more content coming your way.